Hi everyone, it's Laura here at Prequilt, and we've had a request of doing a video showing how to use printed fabric swatches on Fran of Fabric Cafe's digital coloring pages. So here we go. So when you're at prequilt.com, click on color pages, and that'll give you a small sampling of the digital coloring pages that we have available on Prequilt. When you click on see all coloring pages, it's going to bring you to our mar market page. And up here we have tiles for all the, the different designers that are on Prequilt. Um, and you can see here that Fabric Cafe is here front and center and you can click on that. If that isn't there, because we do like to shuffle up um, the different designers to give everybody a chance at being featured, you can click um, on the search and just start typing fabric and Fran Morgan in the Fabric Cafe will pop up. So when you click on that, it'll open up her profile page and that will have all the digital coloring pages that Fabric Cafe has online. It might take a second to load, um, but you just be patient. So you can hear, see here that there are lots of wonderful quilts that Fran um, has provided on Prequilt. If you haven't heard of Fabric Cafe before, they really specialize in doing these really wonderful quilts using just three different fabrics and a yard of each. They call them three yard quilts. They're wonderful um, and they really are such beautiful um, examples of what you can make. They also have a YouTube channel at, um, you can see here, youtube.com backslash Fabric Cafe and they have series such uh, for example matchmaker where you can send in a fabric swatch of a fabric you're not really sure what to do with and Fran will recommend uh, complementary fabrics that go along with it as well as the pattern that would work with that with that print as well and so um, I have a link there in the in the description below and I really hope you go and check her out because it's a wonderful series um, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, use printed fabric swatches for the crystalline so when you just click on color this quilt it'll open up the digital coloring page for this quilt and you can see here that Fran's been really great at giving you an example of what this would look like with both solid fabrics and a printed fabric swatch. I want to just take a pause in second, a second here and note that to be able to use printed fabric swatches, you will need to have a subscription to Prequilt. If you want to use just the solid fabrics, those are free to use and you don't need to subscribe. Um, but we've had a request to kind of showcase how to use these with printed fabric swatches, so I'm going to show that here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the the printed fabric here. I really like this black and white, but I'm definitely going to go and use more colors for this quilt. So that's the first one I'm going to uh, replace. So you can see here that I'm logged in. I'm logged in as our demo um, account. And so when I click on edit, it's going to bring up the fabric swatches that I have already preloaded into Prequilt. I've already added these. If you, have, if you don't know how to add the printed fabric swatches, there is a video link below that'll show you how you can import fabric into Prequilt as well. But for now, I'm going to work with the printed fabric that I have already loaded. I really love Sarah Watts from Ruby Star, um, and so I am going to use this green flowers selected. So when I click on that and I select it, it's going to replace everywhere that that black and white bubble print was, it's going to replace this green fabric. Um, we are currently working on an improvement for this, but it's not ready yet. So for now, I'm just going to put 400 in for the scale, and that's going to give a better eyeball approximation of what the scale of the fabric is going to look like. Um, so when I click on that, you can see the flowers are bigger now, and I'm going to just save and exit it here. I really love this fabric and I really like where the direction of this is going. The next fabric that I'm going to want to replace is the white. Um, I do want to have this be all printed fabric, not prints and solids. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to edit the printed fabric. I'm going to just click here on the pencil and you can see here it's going to default to solids because that's what it was using before. But if I click on prints here, 
you can see now it's going to take me over to the printed fabric swatches again I'm gonna go back to Sarah Watts and this Firefly collection that I really love and I'm gonna click select again I'm gonna change the scale to 400 and now I've replaced that white Kona with this really beautiful creamy grayish um, flower to save it I just exit it and then uh, I'm gonna do the same with the block I'm going to edit that and put a printed fabric swatch so I click on the pencil I click on prints I go to where I saved it these are all folders that I created and managed my um, fabric with and I'm going to put in four so I really love these color combinations I love how they're working together I might want to center that firefly a little um, just to see what it would look like so you can move the fabric um, so by left or right so I can kind of center that more by clicking here okay and the same here I might want to move that down okay so I really love um, this version of the crystalline quilt by fabric cafe with these fabrics so the next thing I would want to do is I'd want to make sure that I can save this um, since we're using printed fabric swatches and we're logged in when you have an account with prequilt we have this special feature called clone this quilt so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna just say yes clone the current quilt and what that does is it creates a copy of this quilt with these fabrics in your account so just say um, you go to the shop and you're not able to get a certain fabric or you don't have enough in your stash you can come back and edit it from here so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just save that. The next thing you can do is you can download the image. And you might have to just be patient for a second because uh, it does. it is a high resolution image. It's going to show you what fabric swatches are being used here. You can ignore these. I'm sorry about that. And these, I've also saved these using the manufacturer's codes so that when I go to look for them I have that online so now you have an we have a really beautiful image of the quilt using the printed fabrics that we would like to use and when I click on download the design it's going to save a JPEG to my computer that I can print out so what I like doing is I like to print out and color this and I put it with the fabrics and I put it with the pattern and now I know exactly what these fabrics are going to be used for Okay, so I can close this here. Um, I can, uh, whoops, I'm gonna save and close it to update the thumbnail. One thing that I forgot to mention is where you can buy the pattern. So I'm gonna go back to the digital coloring page, not the one that I've saved, but to the digital coloring page to show you where you can buy the pattern as well. And so when I'm over here, I'm going to go back to Fran. I'm going to go back to coloring this quilt. And you can see here, buy the pattern. So when I click on buy the pattern, it's going to direct me directly over to Fran's shop. We don't sell anything ourselves. Everything's going back to the designer so that you can help support them. Um, and so this is where you can buy the pattern from Fran. And when you go back to your dashboard, your quilt dashboard, you can see the quilt here. And now it's ready for you to go back to if you want to make any changes. So I hope that shows you a little bit about how you can use um, prequel to visualize all these beautiful Fabric Cafe coloring pages using all printed fabric swatches. All right, thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.